this is a Florida pine snake. Uh, this is a good sized adult. We have these in South Georgia up to around the fall line, down to the Florida line, and way down into Florida. They are a species of concern. Their numbers are dropping, uh, getting harder to find. Uh, they require sand hill environments. They are often found in wire grass, longleaf pine environments, uh, tortoise burrow areas, which are also a habitat that's becoming rare. So it kind of mm -hmm. goes hand in hand with why the pine snakes are getting uncommon. Mm -hmm. A lot of these are hit by cars. Road mortality is an issue. Mm -hmm. They're harmless. Mm -hmm. uh, the demise of the pocket gopher in Georgia didn't help because that was one of their major food sources. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, pre-colonial, you know, and then when the pocket gopher disappeared, I guess it was late 20th century, um, for reasons we don't fully understand. Right. They had to fall on a backup plan and they go with eating rodents now, m mice and rats more. Okay. But Does the DNR do any like specific pine snake conservation efforts or is it more like general habitat management that benefits the pine snakes? For pine snakes, we are very interested in verified records of where they still remain. Mm -hmm. And that includes northern pine snakes in North Georgia as well, which are even rarer than these Florida pine snakes. Right. Um, so if I do see one, I should definitely report it to my local Yes, dead or office. alive. Certainly don't kill it, but if it's a dead Absolutely. one on the road, uh, that's <laughs> yeah. just as valuable Absolutely. in a scientific... I've never even seen a dead one. It's, um, so, uh, it's unfortunate. I, I've, I've never seen one on the road. All the four, the four I've found, I've hiked up uh, in the field. Um, but they do cross roads and road mortality is a major issue. Mm -hmm. Also, just deliberate killing by uh -huh. people who misidentify them. Mm -hmm. What these guys do, like a lot of snakes, they'll vibrate their tail when they're upset. So people yeah. assume rattlesnake. They hiss yeah. really loudly, they'll gape yeah. their mouth open and put on a big show. Mm -hmm. And it's just a big show, but mm -hmm. people think that means danger when they see that and they kill them. Yeah. Some people assume they're rattlesnakes. And yeah. And well, that's where education comes in. Absolutely. And the importance of it. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm a naturalist at Skidaway Island. And so, you know, my whole day is, is science communication. And, yeah, that's um, great. And I'm specifically geared towards reptiles. I, I own pet snakes. And so I do uh, reptile shows at the park. I do reptile shows privately, just on my own time, too. Very nice. Um, yeah, and, you know, every bit of education helps, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Every little, every kid that we can reach potentially grows up to be someone who then passes that on. I agree 100% that it's easier to mold young people who aren't quite as hard. Than to change others. And also, I'm getting older now, I'm starting to think in terms of the people who are doing conservation now, we're not going to be around forever. We need the next generation. Mm -hmm. We Absolutely. need to inspire young people to take up the torch. Absolutely. Yeah.